Joe, thank you for making the time for us tonight. Hey, thank you very much. I'm always glad to come over. Absolutely. So how long have you been District 9's senator? I was elected in 2020. 2020. So I've served two terms. This will be my third term. You're allowed a maximum of four terms, mm -hmm. so this would be my third term. And during that time, what were some of your biggest accomplishments as well, a senator? I think the m several different things on different fronts, but most importantly is revenue sharing to the city of Bangor and the town of Herman. Mm -hmm. This, the revenue sharing to Bangor has gone up from two, from about three million per year to almost ten million per year, mm -hmm. which makes a huge difference when they're doing their budgets and hopefully stabilizing the tax rate. Mm -hmm. In Herman, we increased just in this last year by a million dollars state aid to education there, which is also important to to keep the Herman tax rate low, which mm -hmm. they do. Um, so bringing resources to local communities is really one of my most important objectives and I've been happy that we've been able to really increase uh, money is going to Bangor and Herman. Mm -hmm. And, you know, how are we seeing that used in our communities? You mentioned lower tax rates for these towns. Right. How are we seeing that happen? Well, it's up to the city councils or <laughs> town councils how to spend it, mm -hmm. but uh, it, the money is intended to keep the tax rate as low as possible. But that doesn't always work out, but these are resources that help fund police and fire, public works, infrastructure improvements. So going from three million a year to 10 million a year is a ma per year is a major increase in Bangor's resources to fund important public services. Absolutely. And you know, you've been the senator since 2020. What do you see as the key issues for, for District 9 and how do you plan to address those? Well, uh, serving as the chair now of Health and Human Services, Bangor has a large healthcare economy. Mm -hmm. And I've worked closely with the, the hospitals, both Northern Light and St. Joe's, with the nursing homes, the veterans home, because they have been facing over the last four years enormous financial challenges. Mm -hmm. So part of my, the reason I wanted to serve on Health and Human Services was to be able to focus on helping medical providers, um, and hospitals, nursing homes. We were able to provide relief directly to nursing homes this past year, including the veterans home. We've increased payments to the hospitals. Uh, we've given money to the hospitals to keep them open. Um, so keeping healthcare and the healthcare economy stable in our area is very important. I'm also working with Northern Light on and the University of Maine mm -hmm. on a uh, medical school potentially here in this area. Okay. We won funding for that for the study. The University of Maine is supposed to have a report by the uh, November of next year. But there's a lot of people, uh, and this is very nonpartisan, uh, cuts across all party lines, who are very supportive of having a medical school. Maine does not. Maine has an osteopathic school, which mm -hmm. is very good. We don't have an allopathic school that that uh, generates MDs. Mm -hmm. And if we could have it in this area connected with the hospitals and the university, then it could also help focus on rural health care, which is uh, very important and very needed. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you brought up that nonpartisan. We're running short on time now. Sure. I want to get to this last question. You know, there's a widespread concern about division in politics, mm -hmm. uh, especially here in Maine. If you are reelected, how do you plan to address the partisanship uh, moving forward? Well, I've tried to, to avoid the partisanship. I have actually worked with and co-sponsored bills with several Republican legislators. I have supported several Republican proposals, such as tax cuts, and I was one of the few or only Democrats to do that. So I have been willing to cross party lines when it makes a difference for my district. And I intend to keep doing that. I have an excellent relationship with most of the, my Republican colleagues in the Senate and plan on working with them on a number of different issues. Well, Joe, thank you so much for taking the time hey, to meet with us. It's my pleasure. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure. Well, we'll be right back after this break with your full weather.